What's up, y'all? I'm Jordy, and today I've got a best of three versus Mr. Kurtastic. Now, Mr. Kurtastic made a team that, if you follow my channel, you'll notice is very similar to a team that I made once. Uh, but it's a little bit different. He's, he's made some changes. I don't have a rental code for that right now. Uh, but if I get one in the future, I will make sure to put it in the description. But anyways, let's jump into it. Alright, we've got Mr. Kurtastic here with a slight spin on my Zama team. Uh, it's just Entei over Incineroar. Uh, I'm looking through the moves right now. I think everything's the same. Milotic has leftovers instead, though. Um, instead of Figgy Berry. Uh, Entei's Grass. Uh, I expected the set it has. Everything else is exactly what I would think it is. So, no, that's not right. Milotic has Icy Wind. That's different. Okay, can I take advantage of that? No, I don't think he's going to click Icy Wind into this team. I need Calyrex to not get burned by Entei. I like Calyrex. Ogre Pond. If I can get rid of- if I can threaten Entei with a Cudgel, I could be in a good position. Uh, I have to bring Sinistra. Oh, maybe even Hobbs with Terra Ghost wouldn't be bad. I wish I had Will-O-Wisp. I don't have much for Zamazenta. Zamazenta is actually probably my toughest matchup. Which makes this... a lot of fun. <laughs> a lot, a lot of fun. Uh, I think it might be Valiant. No, it's not Valiant. Yeah, is it Valiant? Valiant with Taunt could be big. Valiant with Taunt could be so big. Ah, The problem is... Okay, if it is exactly my Zamazenta team, Valiant is faster. Oh, maybe... Oh, that, that's a change-up I could do. If I learn his Zamazenta's speed tier... That's a great card, by the way. Uh, if I learn his Zamazenta's speed tier, maybe Valiant is faster than it. Because Zama has a better, greater base speed, but... Okay, it's Grim Entei. That's pretty much what I expected. Alright, um, do I want to burn Terra Water? Yes. I don't want to Terra Sinistra. If, if I have to Terra Sinistra, I'm in a bad position. Because uh, I don't think Moltres comes here. And if it does, Iron Valiant should be able to handle it. So I think... I Glacial Lance and Ivy Cudgel. And pray I don't get burned. Okay, it looks like they're not tearing the Entei. The Entei's Terra Grass, which is why I'm covering with this Glacial Lance. I could have protected an Ivy Cudgel, but I was a bit scared. Uh, with Reflect up, I wonder if this is a Sacred Fire into Ogre Pond. Oh, I'm faster? That's huge. That is big damage into Entei. Now, Calyrex, uh, if it gets burned, it gets burned. It didn't! That's so big. That could not be bigger. Okay, you can't... What can you do? Uh, you could Parting Shot Ogre Pond and Terra Entei, hoping that lives. You could t oh, you could Terra Entei and go into Sinistra. But then you lose two Pokemon, even if you get the burn. I need to get a Swords Dance to get through the rest of this team. I'm going to Swords Dance now. And I'm going to follow me. Yeah, I put so much pressure on Entei. I'm in a great position against that. So no Terra coming out. They must have a specific plan. Wait, that's Thunder Wave? Oh, I should I should have read more carefully. I thought that was Parting Shot. Okay. Well, that's great. I can't get burned now. I love that. So now all I have to do is not get paralyzed, and I can throw another Glacial Lance at plus two. Oh, that's great. I, most of the time I get this play. Entei can't do nothing. 
Uh, I guess Entei could get the KO, and then they get a Spirit Break. They could paralyze Glastrier, if, not Glastrier. Oh, they're swapping. Into who? Into Sinistra? Into Zamazenta. Okay. I wonder how much Behind Reflect plus one Zamazenta takes <laughs> to a plus two Glacial Lance. I'm gonna guess basically nothing. Yeah, Sacred Fire comes out, Ogre Pond should go down to that. Good job, Ogre Pond. I'm very proud of you. And let's see, does this do any damage to Zamazenta? No. Oh my god. Oh, that's <laughs> that's gonna be a problem. Okay, well I'm plus three Calyrex now, which is amazing. My options are Valiant, which... Hmm. I kind of want... If I bait the Zama into going Terra Water, I can beat it in the end game with Sinistra. So it might be the case that I just go Valiant, full support Calyrex, take out everything else, and leave Zama Zenta for last. I also get to see the speed interaction here, hopefully, which would be huge. And there's Sinistra. Sinistra's cool to see. Uh, it could be Terra Water. Um, okay, let me make sure to read. It's Terra Water Sinistra with Machigacha, Rage Powder, Strength Sap, and Trick Room. He changed life due to Strength Sap, and it's Rocky Helmet. I think that's what I had on mine. Strength Sap won't matter because Calyrex has the clear amulet. Terra Water... Macha Gacha would be annoying. I can't really do much damage to Zamazenta. And they could take out Valiant pretty quickly. I think I want to just throw a Lance and wide guard for now. I want to see the Terra. It's got to be Sinistra, right? Yeah, it is Sinistra. Uh, because I'm wide guarding, I don't get to see the speed interaction this turn. But I do throw up the wide guard. I don't want to get hit by a Macha Gacha. Okay, they heavy slam Valiant, but they can't take out Valiant. Macha Gacha won't hit. Yeah, we block that, which is good-ish. How much damage do I get down? And is it worth it? That's really good damage to Sinistra. Actually, that's amazing damage into Sinistra. I think High Horsepower might take it, which is what I need to do. And if I'm going with that play... I guess they could Strength Sap, predicting the Wide Guard. But I don't want to get hit by a single target, Macha Gacha. I could Spirit Break the Macha Gacha. Then Valiant would die and I would take two hits. No. I gotta do this. I, I think I have to wide guard here. Oh, it's a tough one. Okay, they set up an iron defense. That's okay. As long as I can knock out Sinistra. Which I can, probably. They did go for Macha Gacha. I was a little worried they would go for Strength Set there just to heal. But Zamazenta setting up is scary too. How much do I do? Oh, it's not enough! Okay. Calyrex, do you think you can take a body press from here? And their last is Grim Snarl. Oh, I'm not too worried about Grim.
Ah, I gotta take out the Sinistra. Now, I could have gone for Wide Guard there. And try to, but like, th then I'm, I'm vulnerable to Strength Zap. I think Strength Zap was probably the play that turn. To try to heal all the way back up to full. Because off of Calyrex's huge attack, you would heal back up to full. Alright, Valiant. Thank you for your efforts. And, oh, Heavy Slam wasn't going to do anything. Why was that not a body press? I guess they were anticipating Sinistra possibly being in the back. That's fair. Now my endgame is actually Sinistra. It's no longer Calyrex, even. So Calyrex, Calyrex takes out Grim. There's still two turns of Reflect, but Calyrex is at plus three, so Glacial Lance should take out Grim. I Rage Powder away whatever Zama wants to do. And then hope to win with Strength Sap and... Uh, yeah, if I just keep Strength Sapping it and they can't Body Press me, I'll win. Eventually, I'll get a Macha Gacha Burn. That's my play. If Heavy Slam can two-shot Sinistra, then I'd be in a little bit of trouble. But they just go for an Iron Defense anyway. Yeah, that's not going to matter. Spirit Break. That's fine. I am going to use my special attack, but not by much. And hopefully Grim Snarl goes down here. I, whoa! Did I just crit Zama? Yeah. Okay, good game. <laughs> Incredible. So good. Yeah, I'll just throw another Lance. No, I'm going to... It's so awkward now. I'm going to high horsepower. And strength zap. Battle was just cancelled. Good game. Good game number one. That crit definitely made it a little bit easier. <laughs> oh. Alright, game two. I really like how game one went. Are they going to let me do the exact same thing though? Because Calyrex not getting burned was pretty big. I don't know if I can get away with the exact same sort of play. It's also possible that I could maybe dance turn one with, like, setting up Trick Room. I definitely need to Swords Dance as soon as possible. And I think the easiest way to do that is next to Ogre Pond. Sinistra is mandatory. Definitely. And then if I'm going to burn Terra, I don't have to necessarily burn it turn one. I may not have to burn it at all, depending on how it plays out. But then I need Iron Valiant. I think the I, I shouldn't bring a different four. It worked out. I should do the exact same thing. Force Mr. Kurtastic to adapt. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And remember to actually read this thing, because I missed that Thunder Wave on the first read-through. And that could have been annoying. It didn't actually come into play. I did get some good RNG. I think I was in a good position, but I didn't- I dodged the burn, I got the crit, I didn't get fully paralyzed. Okay. That is an interesting lead. I need to Swords Dance immediately. Yeah, I need to Swords Dance now. And I presumably they would set Reflect and not Thunder Wave just yet. Uh, oh, they're probably saving Entei. Yeah, that's what it is. They're gonna save Entei for later. I'm gonna Swords Dance, and I'm gonna Cudgel Grim Snarl for now. Yeah, it's just a Reflect here. I think that's the changeup. Losing Entei too quickly would be a big problem. But if they start body pressing and then bring in Entei to take out Sinistra, that's what they want to do.
Yeah, so now I can... No point in tearing yet. I could protect swap in Sinistra. Try to get Trick Room up. The question is whether I should just attack and bring in Sinistra or not. No, because I want Grimmsnarl in. I want Grimmsnarl to be on the field when I start my sweep. Because I'll get an attack boost off of it. Alright, presumably this is a body press. And it's a Thunder Wave just directly to at the Ogre Pond slot. That's interesting. They're really worried about Ogre Pond taking out Entei later, I guess. We also know the Entei is slower than Ogre Pond for some reason. It's a really bulky Entei. Alright, now the chances of them body pressing here? Hopefully low, but not zero. <laughs> I hope they don't. Uh, Grim Snarls just swaps into Entei? It is Entei. Do you risk going for a body press? No, you just iron defense. Yes! Give me the trick room. Give me the trick room. First the Glacial Lance. Do some good damage into Entei. Oh yeah. And I got the trick room. That's huge. That is actually enormous. Uh, does Entei Terra here? Oh, that's such a big deal. Does Entei Terra here? Oh. Oh no. Body press into Calyrex. Terra. Am I overthinking? If I'm overthinking, oh, this overthinking could lose me the game. But it could also win me the game. Oh, they didn't do it! I needed the high horsepower. Oh, I thought they would Terra. Entei's gonna knock out Sinistra, and then they're gonna get a body press off. A huge one. Oh, I'm losing this game. Nope, Sinistra lives. <laughs> Sinistra's just built different. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sinistra, you're insane. Actually insane. Now I don't know how I beat uh, Zamazenta, though. <laughs> if I'm being honest. Because I Glacial Lance. Uh, how much Trick Room do I have? Getting that play wrong might have lost me the game. Three, turn three whole turns of Trick Room left. I definitely click Glacial Lance here, no doubt. And just Ivy Cudgel into Zamazenta. Okay, who are you who are you swapping to? Who are you giving me? My Oh it's Milotic! That's a good changeup. Milotic is really annoying. Does this mean you're body pressing my Ogre Pond? I would assume so. Do I crit? <laughs> no crit this game. No, it's Calyrex. Who eats? Which is really big. Alright, uh, Terra Ghost Iron Valiant might be my endgame, but I still need to crit that Zamazenta. Milotic does have Life Dew, so it needs to go out first. Oh, but it has Protect.
Ah, uh, yeah. I need to hit Zamazenta. Oh, Melodic protects. Good. I saw that coming, at least. Does Zama just protect? No. They let me get the double. Two chances to crit that thing. And I do! <laughs> oh no! Zamazenta! I just won. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> At least it was a high crit move this time. Oh man. Um How's the trick room looking? Last turn. I'm gonna Glacial Lance, that gets rid of Grim Snarl. And I'm gonna just follow me. I don't want Calyrex getting Thunder Wave. Oh. Oh man. <laughs> well, uh probably should have body pressed the Ogre Pond. Like the Ogre Pond cudgels. That was what I was fishing for. Like, g gonna be honest, I was going for that crit. I knew I needed a crit, and it looked like I was gonna get two or three of those cudgels into that. Oof. Yep, now that's down. Calyrex gets another boost. Calyrex isn't gonna la get any more KOs. It's done. And then, oh, it's just a life do. Not a bad play. That's a good play. Um, I guess the question is, does Snarl into Icy Wind take my Calyrex? Not if I Terra, which I can do now. Um, we know Ogre Pond's faster, so Entei will not get to E-Speed the Calyrex. I'll just throw a Lance and another Follow Me here. I mean, I guess it's not technically over, but it feels pretty over. And here comes their Terra. Which would be Grass Entei to live a cudgel. That makes sense. I'm not going for that, but that makes sense. And then maybe going for the E speed. It could have been a speed tie. You never know. If Ogre Pond and Entei actually speed tied, and Ogre Pond just got lucky and won the speed tie. And then they win the speed tie this time. Take out Calyrex. I waste my turn. Um, I still think I win in the long run. No, I get the follow me first. Is it a snarl? Oh, it's an extreme speed, yeah. Nope. I paid attention to the speed. And I don't think Icy Wind will take Calyrex. Nah, no way. Yep, I get the Lance. And then there's no way Milotic is going to beat Ogrepan. <laughs> My Lotic might not beat Calyrex at this point. Oh man. Another attack boost. Just because Calyrex likes doing that. Mm. Mm hmm. Alrighty. Oh, <laughs> Reflect was up that whole time. Calyrex, you're crazy! Uh, I'll just Glacial Lance, and I'll try to finish it off with a Horn Leech. That should be GG. Yes, yeah, Skull doesn't take Calyrex! Oh my god! <laughs> Good game, Mr. Kurtastic. That was a fun one. Oh my god, horse is busted. Alright, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm going to be posting all of the best of threes for this tour, so stay tuned or go back and watch them. But anyways, I'm Jordy, and uh, alright, peace.